Hello everyone. Today we're going to continue with page 105 from my book Advanced Coordination for Drum Set and Hand Percussion. On this page we already did the Nanigo Bembe rhythms so we're going to do the Bolero and Rumba rhythms and the Merengue. We'll also do some exercises from page 6 which are shell rhythms and dual bell rhythms. So let's talk about this style, the Paquetto style I talked about in my introduction to Timbali's video. But there's some sounds that we might not have gone into very deeply. So the first sound, if you're looking at the music that's on the screen now, is this rooftop accent that you see in bolero pattern number one. And that's done on the low drum, the hembra, and you hear this, um, how this sounds. So that's the rim shot. It shouldn't be played too heavy, just nice lightly touch it. But the difference between that and the open sound is this. Here's the open sound. And here's the rim shot. So you hear the ringy, open, kind of sharp sound there. The other sound we need to make you aware of is the cross rim click, which is this. That sound can be done two ways. It can be done in the traditional way you do it on a drum set, which is with the hand down like this. Or it can be played with the hand up like this. Now if you play with the hand down, you're liable to get some buzzing when you play on the drum. wrong with that it's cool it's kind of, kind of like part of the sound and it, you don't really hear it when you play live or when you're playing with a band you'll definitely hear it today because I'm sort of isolated here by myself so uh, and the other way to do it is like this so you're actually lifting up the left hand playing it like that. That's a lot more difficult. It's a lot more uncomfortable. But again, if you want to get rid of that buzzing, that's the way to do it. So we're going to play through these first four bolero slash rumba rhythms. And I just have to say, these are slower rhythms. Um, we're going to play them slow and then faster because they're great to use for solos, for soloing at a fast tempo. All right. So this will be rhythm number one. One, two, one. Two, three, four. And here's that rhythm fast. One, two, one, two, three, four. So you hear some of that buzzing with the cross room click. The next rhythm, number two, here it is slow. One, two, one, two, three, four. fast. One, two, one, two, three, four. And here's rhythm number three, slow. One, two, one, two, three, four. Is fast one, two, one, two, three, four. And here's rhythm number four, slow one, two, three, four. fast. One, two, 
One, two, three, four. That's a tricky one. Okay, so uh, you can change your sticking if you need to. I did it there on the slow between the fast. Also, you can play different notes. In other words, you can play high, low. That doesn't really matter. You can feel free to improvise on these. The main thing is that you try to get the, the sounds, the correct sounds. The next rhythm is from the Dominican Republic. This is called merengue. Uh, a special drum that's used for this is called the tambora. Uh, the drummer plays it on his lap. I used to play it actually. And with a stick and, and your hand. There's lots of ways to play it, but you, you can play it that way. It also can be played on the congas. If you look at my conga rhythms uh, video, you'll see that on there. But, but today we're going to play you two versions of merengue that I used all the time when I was playing in salsa clubs. So we'll play them slow and we'll play them fast. Also, there's prominent rim shots and dead strokes. The dead strokes are done with your palm on the head with the cross room click in position. So like this. Now when you move that up, it may make a sound like an open sound. That's okay. You want lots of variation in sound. So it, it's hard to equate what's written with what you're playing. Um, but if you play the notes as written and you do the right hand motions, it'll come out just as it's supposed to. So this is merengue number one, slow. One, two, one, two, three, four. hop over to page 106 and work on some of these shell patterns. So the shell patterns are done on the side of the timbali, as you see here, and they sound like this. Now all timbalis sound different. So in other words, if you have a heavy shell timbali, a brass shell, that's going to sound different than this kind of shell, which is a thinner steel shell. Uh, a lot of times when I'm recording timbales, I, I roll off certain frequencies and I bring up other frequencies, namely the higher frequencies, to make it sound more present and drier. But when you're playing live, there's going to be ring from the drums. That's inevitable. If it really bothers you, you could take a towel and put it on the drums if you're just playing palito, you know, you're just playing uh, shell patterns. For a while but I wouldn't recommend that okay so it's gonna ring don't worry about that that's just part of the sound so the shell patterns are played with the top part of the stick okay the higher up on the stick you play the higher and thinner the sound let me show you that so this is high up on the stick and this is more in the middle of the stick So you see how that's a lower sound. Uh, you're welcome to use any sound you want. Uh, mostly though, you want to use a higher sound to cut through the music because it can get pretty loud, okay? 
So we're going to uh, start with some of the slower tempo rhythms. Uh, these are used for boleros, rumbas, not necessarily for mambo. We'll get to those. Okay. So here's a slow pattern, uh, pattern number one. One, two, one, two, three, four. And here's pattern number two. One, two, one, two, three, four. And here's pattern number three. One, two, three, four. And finally, here's pattern four. One, two, three, four. Okay, now for faster tempos, we get back to the cascara. So, in other words, the accented notes you see there on number one, faster tempos, sound like this. And then all we do is simply fill in with the left hand. One, two, one, two, three, four. So you see those are in kind of a cut time feel, double time. Now, you can also uh, double any of those notes. In other words, diddle those notes on the left hand to fill in. And that sounds like this. So you see there, I started out playing the rhythm, but then I'm improvising after that, showing you to put the diddles in different places. And that's totally acceptable. Okay, the rhythm number two sounds like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. And if I add some diddles, it sounds like this. Next up are the Nanigo Bembe shell patterns. Uh, for these, I'm going to use a click so you can hear where the, where the beat is. Some headphones as well. So we'll do um, the first three, we'll do it uh, dotted quarter equals 110. Number four is a slower tempo one. We'll do that about dotted quarter equals 90. So here's number one. One, two, one, two, one, two. And here's number two. One, two, one, two, two, two. And 
and here's number three. One, two, one, two, one, two. And here's number four. One, two, one, two, one, two. So I went ahead and put the bells back on for this next part. This is a two hand bell patterns and you'll see my right hand is going to be playing on the timbali bell and my left hand will be playing on the salsa bell. So high and low. These bell patterns are great when you're playing with a conga player or any other percussionist or drum set player because they don't use a lot of low, low drums or, or even a high drum. So not a lot of timbales themselves. So if you play with a drum set player, it's perfect. Uh, also, if you play drum set, these are great on drum set as well. So we're going to play um, each one of these patterns at two tempos, a slow and a fast tempo. So the first one is Mozambique number one, and I'll play that first at half note equals 100. One, two, one, two. Next, I'll play the same rhythm at half note equals 120. One, two, one, two. The next rhythm we'll do with two bells is Mambo Sun. I'll play that first at half note equals 90. One, two, one, two. I'll do the same rhythm, half note equals 110. One, two, one, two. Now we'll move to the 6-8 rhythms, Nanigo and Bembe. I'll play the first one, number three, at dotted quarter note equals 90. One, two, one, two. Next, I'll play the same rhythm at dotted quarter note equals 120. One, 
two, one, two. Now we'll go to Nanny Go Bembe number four. I'll play the first one at dotted quarter equals 90. One, two, one, two. Now play the same rhythm at dotted quarter equals 120. 1, 2, 1, 2. So with any of these rhythms, again, I keep saying it, you should feel free to substitute high or low drums. That's always fine. Okay, so keep that in mind. So that'll wrap up the timbali rhythms from pages 103 to 106 in my book. So next we'll move on to soloing. That's going to be a really fun video. So I'll see you soon. Thanks.